Hey guys, Cortland Brown here with electricimportmotors.com. We're back in the shop today. You can see we got a pack yak, a couple tanks here next to me. Um, wanted to make a quick video. This one will be a little shorter than our last few and just more informational than anything. Our last video, we drove a tank and a pack yak from fully charged to completely dead in one go. We kind of pulled over and stopped a couple times, but it was really just on the gas the whole time. Something really interesting happened that night when I got home. We parked the cars, went about my day the rest of the afternoon, uh, doing some other work things, came out that night to pull the cars into the driveway, and it was like they had recharged some because they were driving completely normal. I drove around the block, and everything was great. I thought this was a little interesting, and it says a lot about how the batteries are set up inside of the car. So this video, I just want to show you a little bit more about what's inside and how the batteries are, are put together. Hey guys, Cortland here with Electric Import Motors. But back yak still towing the tank. I'm getting my workout in, my steps. Yeah. So like I said, let's hop in the car. This is a white tank. I've already lifted the seat up, so the, the batteries are under the seat. These batteries were in a box, but I took them out of the, the box here just so I could show you. So these batteries are set up in, I believe, what most people call a sequence. So as you can see, we have our positive and our negative, and they're just side by side here. So what we have here is this positive goes back to the controller, as well as that negative goes to the controller. So what you have is you have five batteries, they're all 12 volt batteries, and they are in a sequence where we go positive to negative, or negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, all the way along. And the two end batteries then go back to the controller where they're gonna power the motor. The way that they're set up this way, what tends to happen is that the battery here on the end, as well as this battery on the end, take the brunt of the draining, right? So when you're using the batteries, they're gonna have the most pull on them because they're the ones next to where the draw is towards the motor. So let me explain this a little better with uh, a whiteboard here that I have set up, okay? So right here on this whiteboard, I have five batteries, kind of just demonstrate the sequence here. As you can see, the battery over here goes off to the controller, the battery over here goes off the controller. So as we're driving along, what's going to happen is, uh, you know, after a long period of time, this battery is going to drain some. This battery is probably going to be equal to that one. But then this battery is not going to be quite as drained, as well as this one not as much drained. So as you can see, the middle battery potentially has the most juice. So as time goes on, this continues to happen. So when you drive straight through, what happened, what I imagine happened, is we got to a point where we were virtually empty here. These ones were probably getting low. This one as well. And then this one again, almost nothing in it, right? So as you can see here, they're not equal. So you have one here that's very low, very low. That's where the main draw back to your power source is, or back to your, excuse me, main draw back to the motor is. So as the motor's pulling, it's pulling on this battery, and it's pulling from this one, pulling from this one. So when we got to the end of the drive last time, this is probably somewhat what it looked like. Then we parked the car, and over the course of the next few hours, it equalized. So this one went a little bit lower, but then it equalized with this one, it equalized with this one, and what we had was these guys recharged just enough to be equal. Therefore, we had a little bit more power to drive around the block, and I don't even know how far I could have gone that day. So because they're set up in a sequence, you're going to see this kind of drop off when you park sometimes, that they will equalize and you'll be able to get a little more power out of them. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it informative. But again, I'm no electrician. I wanted to post this video a few months ago, but I want to be 100% accurate. And then I've decided I'm just going to post it anyways. And if you're an electrician or you know a lot about batteries and how these things are set up, please comment if I'm wrong. I think the reason why I had power after it parked for a while is that the batteries equalize since I believe the draw on the two ends of the batteries is much stronger than the draw in the middle. And those take the brunt of the draw when it starts out. Um, but yeah, let me know if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. We'll be wrong again. My wife would tell you I'm always wrong. But uh, yeah, do that. Like and subscribe. We got a bunch more content coming this summer. I am currently working on another video that should be up in about the next week. And I'm hoping to do a few more um, just to get you guys more info on these vehicles, tell you more about them. Be sure to head to our website, electricimportmotors.com. And uh, yeah, we got vehicles in stock right now. We can get them quick. And you're going to love these things. We'll see you later. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff, okay?